Today I'd like to present a case of an arthroscopic amic technique to you. It is a 30-year-old male complaining of pain in his right knee. In former days he was a professional soccer player before he focused on his professional business. After returning to sport he complains of pain in his right knee. On an um, outpatient basis he already had an MRI of the knee and he received a hyaluronic acid injection which did not relieve the pain. When he showed, showed up in our clinic he had a pain at the medial compartment of the knee but no meniscus sign and no instability. The MRI shows a localized cartilage defect at the medial femoral condyle and what you can see is that there is a bone bruise uh, close to the cartilage defect. So we planned the patient for an arthroscopic amic procedure which we will perform today. This is the arthroscopic view on the medial femoral condyle. A probe is used to measure and grade the defect. A sharp curette is used to remove loose cartilage fragments and stable the margins with vertical walls. The defect size is measured with a probe. The articular side of the membrane can be marked with a sterile pen. The membrane is cut back to defect size. It has to be considered that the chondrogrite membrane will swell by approximately 10% after hydration. At the customized membrane the bilayer structure is clearly visible. Before implantation the size of the membrane is checked again. A 1.2 mm K wire is used to create multiple drill holes to give bone marrow stem cells access to the lesion. The defect is cleaned up from instable cartilage fragments and mechanical irritants are taken away with a shaver. The membrane is placed into the defect and should reside flush with the chondral junction. Fibrin glue is added as an adhesive between the membrane and the defect. Start with the application of the fibrin glue at the top and gravity will make the glue flow down to the lower part of the lesion. Tamp the membrane down with an instrument. The membrane should not be proud to avoid hypertrophy of the repair tissue. Additional fibrin glue can be removed using a probe or a shaver. This is the final product at the end of surgery. After surgery the knee is immobilized for 48 hours before we start an intensive program of physiotherapy and mobilization of the knee on the continuous passive motion machine. Um, the mobilization of the patient is with a partial weight bearing of 10 kilograms for six weeks after the surgery.